Enough theory. What can you actually do with AWS? You will learn everything that is needed to run a typical web application on AWS during this course. This module covers typical use cases for AWS. Simple web applications, enterprise applications, a backend for mobile applications, and big data solutions. Time for the first live demo in our course. Hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. I'll show you my cloud infrastructure to run a simple web application, WordPress. I'm logged into the AWS Management Console, the web interface to control your cloud infrastructure. Let's switch to the database service. I have already launched a MySQL database used by WordPress. Next, let's have a look at the virtual machine. A web server and WordPress is running on this virtual machine. We are using the public IP address of the virtual machine to access the blog. That's it. You have seen a simple web application running on AWS. Great. You have seen a typical web application deployed on AWS. But there are many other things you can do on AWS. Enjoy the following examples. It is possible to run your enterprise application on AWS as well. Use virtual machines to run your Java enterprise application servers. Store data in a SQL database service. Make use of a virtual private network. Control access and protect mission critical data by using subnets and control traffic between them with access control lists. Connect your virtual private network to the corporate network through a VPN connection. Control traffic to the internet by using network address translation and firewalls. Next example, a backend for mobile applications by combining AWS services, for example, user management and access control, and sending push notifications to mobile devices, store user-generated content, run business logic. Last example, you can use AWS for big data workloads to store and analyze data. Use real-time data streams to receive data from your data providers. Store and analyze data in a data warehouse. You are able to run almost every workload on AWS. Simple web applications, enterprise applications, backends for mobile applications, big data workloads and many, many more.